just picking up from Romans 8.22, Romans 8.23. And not only this, but also we ourselves, having the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting eagerly for our adoption as sons, the redemption of our body. You know, we live in this flesh suit, and this flesh suit, the Bible says, is breaking down. It says that even though my outer man is decaying, my inner man, though, can go from strength to strength. This is why God has given us His spirit of, of sonship as our first fruits. You know, Jesus was the first one born of the spirit, and we are of Christ, the first fruits of life which is just this phenomenal reality for us to come into. And yes, we are going to receive our glorified state, as it's saying here, and that we are to eagerly be awaiting our glorified state, to be looking upward. The Bible says to set our minds on the things above, not on the things of the earth. But once again, it's fully possible to realize this full position now. So although we are eagerly awaiting uh, our glorified state, the redemption of this body that's, that struggles and, and it's uh, breaking down. At the same time, this fullness of this life, this first fruits of the Spirit can be in us. And in Corinthians, the Bible says that the Spirit gives life to our bodies. As Christ is manifested in our bodies, it literally gives birth to our physical bodies. And that comes through in the demonstration of His glory through us. So once again, let's seek this full reality. Uh, although we are in a body that's decaying, I pray that our inner man is being renewed day by day into the fullness of what God has for us as we eagerly await our return of our Savior. Amen.